All right, Wayne. It's great to be on the road, a tough road trip, but a great win for Maryland, a great team win. But wow, the Chiefs give us everything they had. And what a crowd. What an atmosphere. What'd you catch on TV? Of course, I'm here live. You see the field right behind me. What I saw was a, a Maryland team that has great talent, great defensive talent. Syracuse would not give up, would not go away. But Maryland, both offensively, but especially defensively, for most of the game, was able to shut down Syracuse. Had a few uh, end of the quarters get away there. But Syracuse was actually more effective in the last minute of the first half and the last minute of the third quarter than any place else during the game. Uh, Bruce, what's the takeaway when you get to go to a place like Syracuse as the favorite for your Maryland Terrapins? Well, let me tell you, a great Maryland crowd. Had it, you could hear them, I'm sure, 1,000, 1,200 people. There had to be 12,000 people here. You know Syracuse is the strongest followed team of lacrosse as far as the fan base go. And they were here today. The atmosphere was electric. And, of course, we get Syracuse back to, back at Maryland next year. But this is, this is a battle that has to go on every year. Uh, I thought Petromala did a good job trying to contain Logan Wisnowskis. He did somewhat, but the rest of the characters. And what about my guy, Jonathan Donville? Wow. The NLL is getting the stud, aren't they? His NLL style goal running away from the goal, a backhander was part of the uh, reason that, that Maryland wins. Maryland had some great offensive rebounds, great work around the crease. Logan, when left open, even by a step, clearly this is the, the best shooter from that spot I've ever seen. You also were treated to two goalie stops, one by a, a diving McNaney and one by the Syracuse goalie that were as good as anything I've seen. It, it was a... a it was a final four level game. Yeah, it was cool. It reminded me of a burn door save he made years ago. Wayne, uh, let me ask you, okay, what was the sense on TV? Who are the announcers? I don't even know. There was so much controversy here about the game not being on TV. It was unbelievable. Well, I got to watch it on my Verizon 5G connection. I'm on the road, uh, the Philly area, still from yesterday. Uh, Look, they had a, it was a Syracuse crew that called the game. Um, I think they were even enough. Most of the uh, add-in stuff for the ACC network was all Syracuse add-in content. Very little extra Maryland add-in content. I think they were fair enough. Maryland, Maryland has the stars. I mean, you've got your Donville, you've got Wisnowskis. Uh, they didn't talk enough about uh, Maycar who also had a huge effect on the game. And then the Maryland midfield, they didn't mention that Bubba uh, volunteered to go to defensive midfield. I will tell you, the beginning of the game looked a lot like the beginning of the Loyola game last week where Maryland's midfield defense got in Syracuse's head. Syracuse made turnovers that looked like they were unforced, but you know it was because of the pressure that Maryland put on them. It took it a while for Syracuse to get up to that. I think the coaching for Syracuse was, was pretty good. Uh, they did climb back in the game, but man, this Maryland team is just stacked. Maryland, Maryland has an all-star team, and tell you got to give all that credit to Tillman to yeah. get those recruits to come to Maryland. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Tillman wanted the team to be challenged more during the year. He got that today. This game was on ice a little bit when they made it uh, one goal at the end of three quarters. I thought the shot of the day, the play of the day, was Puglisi's shot. <laughs> I don't know what they caught that shot at but it had to be about a buck 20. I've never seen a rocket like that, you know, and he always comes up with one, but it was great. It's great to win. It's great to win on the road. Got Princeton next week. They popped in 19 goals. All the Ivy League teams are doing well. They're back after a year off, but we got the stud from the Ivy Leagues, and his name is Jonathan Donville. 
and he he was everything mentioned, everything we heard about today. I thought he had an incredible game. Luke Weirman was weak in the middle of the game. He made some uncharacteristic errors. That one error at the end of the first half led to three goals when he uh, threw the ball away. You can't do that. You really can't. But overall, Weirman still won the battle. Loose balls, I think Maryland got the key loose balls, didn't they? I, I think down the stretch it was sort of even. The difference was that no matter how many times Syracuse ran fast midfield, Maryland got in their way. Maryland dictated a lot of the tempo. Even when Syracuse was climbing back in the game, Maryland was still dictating the tempo. Talk for a moment about the young man who transferred from Hopkins. I believe he had a, a few goals today. Owen Murphy, did he have one? or I think he only had one. And I'll tell you, he got that rebound with 90 seconds left or two minutes left. That goal was not necessary. But I guess he had an open net. He wasn't going to pass it up. But that clock was working in Maryland's favor. And uh, look, Maryland made some key defensive stops in the fourth quarter when the game looked like it was going to get close again. But uh, you're not going to come here uh, Maryland's not going to come here and blow out Syracuse ever because, you know, everybody's waiting for Maryland wherever they go. Look, they got Princeton. Then they go to Notre Dame. Then they got Albany. They got the best of the ACC, the best of the Ivies, and then the best of uh, whatever conference Albany is, the same as UMBC. And then they play Virginia. I mean, I, I, you know, it's going to happen. But Tillman wanted this team to be tested more than what happened last year. And I think he's right. They were tested the day they came through. Wayne, anything to add? You're welcome to add. I got to catch a plane, and I'll send this to you as soon as I can. All right. Well, Bruce, uh, it's it's great to have the Trip Talk gang on the road in Syracuse. That is Bruce Bowser reporting live from the Carrier Dome, as we promised after uh, the, the Loyola game. Bruce makes it to Syracuse. I don't, and we will catch you next week after the Terps take on the Princeton Tigers.